Today is the day! The highly anticipated Stardew Valley Pokemon hybrid game just dropped and you'll want to get your hands on this. Grab your broomsticks and your potions, let's catch them all. I mean, let's get distracted. Moonstone Island is a deck building, creature collecting, farming, and crafting life sim. Saying all that makes me giddy because it's a mishmash of the genres that I love. I enjoy the Pokemon anime even though I never play the games, and of course, crafting and farming sims are very dear to me. So so you're an alchemist in training, and to complete that training, you're moving into an island in the sky, but then you crash land into a new island inhabited by a bunch of people who just so happen to be in need of, wait for it, an alchemist. Experience is the best teacher as they say, and you're thrust into taming and collecting the errant spirits that live in the outer islands and figuring out a way to close the dangerous rift that has formed in the sky. There's a huge roster of spirits for you to collect and with great variety too, from the adorable and quirky to the feisty and menacing. Hold up, there's a cactus? Oh my goodness! To collect all the spirits, you will have to battle it out with the aid of your tamed spirits. Their decks can change significantly based on your strategy, your luck, and the spirit's elemental type. Your spirits will level up through these battles, making them stronger, faster, and probably wiser too. And you can change and swap out their decks by removing, upgrading, and buying new cards. I never played deck building games before, so this will be interesting and exciting and maybe a hair pulling experience as well because my my luck's not that great, and as a former casino dealer, I'm used to dealing the cards, not playing with them. But I'm very excited for this game to be my first deck building game. You can build your home in one of the 100 procedurally generated islands, upgrade from the starter tent to a massive mansion with a kitchen, living room, potion room, and everything else you want. I would say though, I love the tent a lot, it's so cozy and adorable, and I wouldn't mind having it in my entire playthrough, but I know that upgrading will be beneficial official of course. I mean, a house that follows you around? Think of the time and the broom emissions you'll be saving by not commuting. Flowers and crops are essential for an alchemist and you can grow some of them right outside your home while some of them can only be found in certain biomes or only grow during specific seasons. You can consume the crops and feed them to your spirits to boost them in battle or concoct potions that have potent effects. Moonstone Island will have 11 NPCs for you to befriend or even date. They are adorable and unique unique and finding out that there's a Filipino NPC warmed my heart. Take your time getting to know these characters through dates and their individually designed rate of romance. You can even try dating all the NPCs if you wanted to. Now, I do wonder because only dating is mentioned in the details, is there no marriage in game? And also, I noticed that the game shows you how much a character will like your choice of interaction with them. Will this make romancing them too easy? I guess we'll just have to find out. There's a lot more in the game to discover. The cozy mechanics of gathering materials for furniture, crafting items and vehicles for your journey. There's also fishing and of course exploring the islands and adventuring into dungeons and ancient temples. All this is brought to life by Moonstone Island's serene and nostalgic art. It's heartwarming and I smile whenever I watch the trailers and just itch to be in this world and have these adorable spirits follow me around. If you're as excited as I am to hop onto this magical adventure, Moonstone Island is out now and you can find the link to the game's Steam page down below. Alright, I'm gonna broomstick off to Moonstone Island everybody. Sending warm prickly hugs your way as always, I appreciate you being here and I also want to welcome the new subs, thank you for subbing and yes, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Bye! Stay.